Welcome back, everybody. Let's take a moment now to say hello to our friend, Mr. John Baptiste. Hello, John Baptiste, somewhere out there in the world. Hey! Hello, what's going on? <laughs> We're just setting things up here. Hey, He's, Pete, what's it's going all part on of Peter. with you? He says hi, he wants hi. to know what's going on with you. What's going on? Nothing. I got Peter here. I got Evie right here. Come here. Hi, John. Oh, look at us here tonight. Hey, Evie, I what's up? You. How are you? Hey. Good. I miss you. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I know. I, it's, it's tough, but, you know, we're going to pull through this one. Now, you're all by yourself, right? You don't have Sulaika with you, right? No, not yet, but I'm, I'm practicing appreciation, you know. He's what? He's practicing appreciation. <laughs> Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Exactly. I'm reading Sulaika's daily prompts. Her um, isolation journal stuff is great. That thing is a lifesaver. It, get, it gets your mind going in the morning, and it gets you focused. How it can does. people find it online? Oh, you just go type isolation journals into Google or go to her website. She has uh, a beautiful but complex name, Sulaika <laughs> Jawad. It's yes. a vowel palette. But <laughs> it's, it's, it's the national vowel surplus. Exactly. <laughs> There's a right. palindrome in there. Hey. Hey. All right. Bye, John. Good <laughs> seeing you. Have a good one. You too. Stay safe. You know, I spent a lot of time at the Green Grocer of News, meticulously selecting the day's finest stories to take home and then bake into the farm to table ratatouille that is my monologue. But Sometimes I like to scavenge the back of my freezer for a mini chicken pot pie from 2013, crumble the dregs from a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos on it, throw it in the oven, and watch it through the window while I gnaw on the black licorice Twizzlers I accidentally bought at the premiere of The Matrix Reloaded to create the midnight snack of news that is my quarantined meanwhile segment. Quarantine while. Quarantine while. Not everyone is observing the self-isolation guidelines. For instance, on Monday, Tom Brady was caught breaking Tampa lockdown restrictions to work out in a park. Now, yes, it's true that we should all be staying home for the good of this country that we love. But in fairness, Brady is no longer a patriot. And I assume he had to go to the park because Brady just moved to Tampa to join the Buccaneers. And he's currently renting Derek Jeter's house where there's just nowhere to exercise. Okay, so he doesn't need to be in the park, but I gotta respect Tom Brady. Even at this late stage of his career, he's still cheating just for the love of it. Quarantine while. In Maryland, cops are urging residents to wear pants when checking their mail. Though that headline doesn't make it clear if it has anything to do with the pandemic or just a long running problem in Maryland. Well, the Tawny Town, Maryland Police Department have clearly had it because they posted on their Facebook page, please remember to put pants on before leaving the house to check your mailbox. You know who you are. This is your final warning. That really sounds like it's someone very specific who they just can't get through to. Soon the post will be, please stop free balling it in your driveway, Earl. Seriously, Helen and the girls keep calling us to do something, but we're tired of driving out there to talk to you with your junk spinning in the breeze. My wife liked that joke. <laughs> Quarantine while. The American flag was projected onto the Matterhorn in the Swiss Alps in a show of coronavirus solidarity. Switzerland, thank you. That is a beautiful and moving gesture, but I'm afraid moon rules apply here. American flag gets on it, America owns it. And we will soon be slapping water slides on that bad boy and opening up the Splatterhorn Swiss Bitchin' Water Park and Monster Truck Mountain. But we promise to respect Swiss culture by selling deep fried Toblerones on a stick. Quarantine while. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio says COVID is forcing massive cutbacks and that sanitation pickups will be reduced and public pools will be closed. Let me get this straight. So there will be tons of garbage and empty swimming pools? I'm no city planner, but I think that problem just solved itself. Quarantine while. Astronaut Jessica Meir has returned to Earth after an 86.9 million mile trip that lasted 205 days. And let me be the first to say, that is rough timing, Jessica. 
It's a good thing you're used to pooping into a vacuum because we've got a bit of a toilet paper situation down here. You might need to repurpose your Dyson quarantine while. Doctors in Australia are doing a podcast to keep the public updated on coronavirus research and policy. And this week, they tackled an important question. Can the coronavirus be spread through farts? The answer, the answer is critical. The answer is critical, darling. Because it could lead to a breakthrough in blaming coronavirus on the dog. Turns out farts are dangerous for the same reason coughing and sneezing are because flatulence itself is an aerosol-generating procedure. Hence the old rhyme, beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you perform an aerosol-generating procedure. Here's what the good doctor had to say about corona farts. I think that what we should do in terms of social distancing and being safe is that um, a policy on the part of the entire Australian population should be that you don't fart close to other people. <laughs> and that you don't fart with your bottom bear. I'm hoping that's pretty much always the advice. The doctor elaborated, luckily we wear a mask which covers our farts all the time, meaning pants, shorts, dresses, underwear, and other garments, which raises an interesting philosophical question. If, if pants are the mask of the butt, are masks the pants of the face? Anyway. Experts recommend that for safety's sake, please fart into your elbow. Finally, and this has nothing to do with the Australian doctors, I need to point out that the New York Post, which ran this story, used this as the image to accompany the headline. Now, I'm not a doctor, but if your farts light up your butthole like a Christmas tree, then coronavirus is the least of your worries. Please come on the show. I think people might want to see it. We'll be right back with Michael Moore.